Hey guys, Chad at Spire Racing Heads. I want to show you something that uh, I just finally got in house. Um, I did a program for the Stud Rocker Dragon Slayer. Here it is. Um, we'll go over the port real quick. Uh, 2.6 at the push rod, 1207 opening. Uh, you can see the floor. You can see the floor. I kicked the bull out, like always. Good, good look at the CNC work. Had a little bit of shadowing here. Um, that's one of the things that happens when you use a already as cast instead of a porter's casting. Um, but um, that's the intake port. You can see, like, there you go, stud rockers. Um, 45 degree seats. Um, this over right here. There's the seats, 91.5% throat, 45 on the exhaust as well. Let me roll this on here, show the short side. Um, picture of the short side, nice and wide like always. Uh, nice and laid back. Uh, you can see the floor's got some tilt to it on this side. I'll explain that here in a minute. Uh, Turn it around to the to the uh, exhaust side. Um, there's the exhaust port. Flows a lot of air. There you go. Here you go. You can see it right here. Program uh, 2103, number one head. First head done. Logo. So it's a really nice casting. It's really thick. It's really he heavy. It comes to 225 ass cast. It's like 240 here done. Uh, let's go over all the important stuff. So 242 cc, 2.6 minimum at the push rod, uh, 5600 port length. The average cross section is 2.64 and the average velocity at 700 is uh, 297. Um, you can see uh, it, it, mo it moves some air. Let me get the, let me get the there you go. So at uh, 500, 290, uh, 700, 327. Uh, there's the exhaust, um, 323, yeah, 223. I mean, it moves really, really good air for a 2100 valve. Um, here's the critical areas, 45 seat. I use a billet plate. Um, guys, get rid of your clay. Just don't even do it. Um, if you don't have access to some billet stuff, go ahead and just get you some freaking half inch oak. Cut a hole, use a router. But the, the clay is horrible. Um, it starts sucking in, your flow numbers will go away. Um, I've actually had a few issues over the years where stuff didn't flow what I said because they were using clay and it sucks in. So just, just get rid of it. Okay, 1207 opening. Okay, here's a critical deal. At uh, 700 lift with the pitot tube right through the pinch, it's 318 feet per second. That's the fastest area in the front of the port. Here's the floor speed at the apex at the crown where it goes over uh, 375, 388, 381. That's why that floor has got a little cant to it. That's what you want. You want a tight floor. You don't want 420 in the middle, 360 on the out, 320 on the other one. You want the numbers the same, as tight as you can get them straight across. This head, this, this, this did it. This head did it. Uh, so, I mean, this would be a great 421, 434 head. Uh, especially for you guys that don't want to spend the money on a shaft rocker, which I don't blame some of you. Uh, this will probably be the only Dragon Slayer casting that I do. Uh, I talked to Brodex, they're eight to 10 weeks out on them. Uh, so if you, have a, if you have the castings and you want the program, I can definitely do that. Just give me a holler. Um, but thanks for looking. Uh, it's another one I'm pretty proud of. Uh, just fits, fits in the lineup that I already have with the profiler stuff. Uh, if you have any questions, give me a call, 785-623-0963, and I uh, appreciate each and every one of you. Have a good weekend. Have a happy Thanksgiving.